This is truly a builder's own custom home. Built in 2019, this modern farmhouse was built with no expense spared. There is hundreds of thousands of dollars of landscaping, of masonry, of upgrades. A typical spec home, the builder would not go out of their way to add water everywhere, to add electric everywhere. We even have gas. We have this beautiful private driveway, parking for a ton of cars. And when I bring you inside, you're going to be truly blown away by not not just all the upgrades and amenities, but also the quality of the work that was performed here. When you look at the outside of this home, there's so many small details that could easily get overlooked. You've got the black Anderson 400 series windows. You've got the Grand Sequoia top of the line GAF shingles, the black gutters, the board and batten, all these light fixtures, the garage doors, the EPay decking, that's real stone on the wall. This is not cultured stone, bluestone treads. The amount of landscaping alone in this house, if you did this in today's dollars in the post COVID world, you might have a quarter million dollars of landscaping alone. All these trees, all the landscaping, the sod, everything that you see was all installed by this builder with really just no object of cost in mind. The idea was to build the ultimate summer home and that's exactly what they did here. This front porch really sets off the modern farmhouse vibe of this home. This is ePay decking. I can just imagine myself here having a cup of coffee in the morning, not a care in the world. All you hear is birds chirping, the wind blowing and just really the ultimate summer pad. Right now we're standing in this gorgeous double height entry foyer and I just wanna take a moment and take in all the amazing trim details and millwork that you're gonna see throughout this house. Everywhere you look, if there was a higher end choice or a better quality product, that's what this builder chose for this home because after all, it was his own home. These eight inch white oak character grade floors are glued and nailed, they're beautiful and they really fit the style of this home. It's a really open concept here. These trusses were imported from Maine. You have eight foot doors, 10 foot ceilings, Anderson A-series sliders and just you know, from the real stone fireplace, the beautiful mantle, you've got this open dining. This kitchen needs its own segment, so I'm gonna hand it right off to you. Why don't you tell about this beautiful custom kitchen? So we have this open concept kitchen with quartz countertops, custom cabinets, and the best part, we have this butler's pantry where you could do all of your prep, and our really cool feature is you have this coffee machine that has a dedicated water line so you never have to remove the machine. All the details in this kitchen really tie together the aesthetic from the outside throughout the living spaces. We have this imported farmhouse sink from England. We have a two inch mitered edge island countertop. We've got under cabinet lighting. All the backsplashes are solid slabs of quartz. We've got a cooktop, a double wall oven, a refrigerator, another coffee area floating shelves, and all the light fixtures stay. All the furniture in these main living spaces can also be purchased as part of the deal. All the main living spaces are really geared towards this outdoor space. We're gonna get there in just a minute, but you have this covered porch, you have the retractable awning, and two sets of sliders that take you out to the backyard. And how this living space is broken up is you have your guest bedrooms on one side, and you have your primary suite, your laundry, and some other features on this side. Now, as we pass the breakfast area, you can really feel like, I'm gonna keep mentioning it, these 10 foot ceilings, it gives it such a bright and airy feel. We've got a powder room right here with really, really nice details. You've got a primary suite this way. And again, these eight foot doors really make the space. And look at this, look at how beautifully furnished this space is, really gives you some ideas, lots of natural light pouring into this home. We've got two walk-in closets with barn doors and this gorgeous primary bath with clawfoot tub, custom tiled shower, raised panel details, double vanity, custom windows. And ladies, I know we all love some good daylight when we're doing our makeup and just take a look at the lighting in here. It's just perfect. Now outside the primary, down this hallway, we have the laundry. We also have access to the garage and a finished bonus room. 
down these steps, we have a 2,000 plus square foot unfinished basement. The floor has been painted, it's insulated, so of course you can throw a gym down there from today, but you've got an egress window and just an amazing blank slate for the future. Now, through this hallway, we have this really convenient double closet. Look at the details in here with this sink. I've actually ripped out sinks from like a 1950s house that looks just like this. I mean, with a laundry room like this, I could do laundry all day. Those are live edge, real wood floating shelves. I love the wallpaper in here. And if we step this way, we have this really, really nice garage with the Sidewinder motors, epoxy floor, and this stair goes up to a bonus room of about 600 square feet up there where you can even add a bathroom one day in the future. We've got our plumbing up there and it's really ready to be enjoyed even from today. Before we make our way back to the other side of the house, this double closet in the laundry is super convenient with custom built-ins. These people are amazing. Everything's labeled. You could really see yourself living here and everything is tucked away so nicely. Believe it or not, people do live here. Uh, they even have a dog and it just, it feels like a hotel as you walk around this home. Everything is centered around this main living space and as we pass through this family room once again, I'm just blown away by the level of finish and all the wonderful details. These A-series doors are really and truly top of the line Anderson. I just wanna pause right here for one second and say that these people built this home for their specific needs. Originally in the plan, this was the fourth bedroom and the seller has agreed to put up a wall and this could be quite a guest bedroom with access to the backyard and down this hallway, there's two more bedrooms and a full bath. Right now this room is being used as an office but this is quite a nice bedroom. Certainly sticking with the modern farmhouse theme is this beautiful full bath. This is currently being used as a guest bedroom and one neat little feature is this huge walk-in closet which right now is being used as storage for all the toys. If you see yourself spending the summers here, you have no shortage of storage. You have an attic, you have a full basement, you have a garage, and you can see how these people are using the space right now. Uh, it's just immaculate. Now I'm done stalling. Let's step outside and check out this unbelievable outdoor living space. Imagine yourself spending your summers out here, retractable awning, covered porch, rain or shine, you're gonna enjoy this space. We have three sets of sliders from the main living spaces to the backyard. We carry the same EPE decking from the front porch to the back. You have this really nice masonry. This pool was just put in. You've got a fireplace. You've got a dining area. You've got a sunbathing area. There's just a, a cute little moment everywhere you look. This pool is heated. It's a saltwater gunite pool. We've got three sheds, a greenhouse, raised beds for your vegetables, your flowers. Every square inch of this property has been manicured to perfection. Just look at this grass. We're still, we're still in the spring. I mean, this is, this is just unbelievable. Just keep following me. It just keeps getting better and better. We've got this outdoor kitchen with fridge, pizza oven, and barbecue. This greenhouse is heated. It's got water. It's got electric. So if you're into gardening, this is a great space. You can enjoy it year round. You've even got a fan for some air movement. Little bird bath, 14 zones of sprinklers. We've got this fencing all around, all these trees, all this privacy hedging was all installed by this builder. The entire property has been cleared. There's horse fencing all around the property. And I'm not kidding, it just keeps getting better. Can you imagine how much effort was put into landscaping this place? All the mulch, all the shrubs. I mean, just as you look around, this just, this just every square inch is manicured. We've got this other shed right here. It's actually two stories. It has access from down below. I'm gonna take you down there shortly, but imagine having your little workshop over here. We've got electric in here as well. All the aesthetics tie in with the rest of the house. I think it's just such an awesome space. Now let's go downstairs. Now follow me down these steps where it just, the surprises keep on coming. These boulders were all placed here strategically. They've got a little Christmas tree farm going on down here. I really like this railing detail. It's modern, but clean. Pressure treated lumber, very low maintenance. They cleared all of this recently. Horse fencing around the entire property. 
You've got a ramp here going to a garage. As I mentioned, this is a two-story shed, so you could get your lawn equipment in there. Whatever toys the kids might have, just drive them right up and into that garage space. There's lighting out here. Everything's on a timer. You see that bear statue right there? That was actually carved on site by somebody that came here and spent several days carving out that bear. There's sprinklers everywhere. You've got a fire pit over here. This feels like a resort. You ever been to one of those resorts out east or upstate where they have the fireplace, the pool, and all these little chilling areas? You've got that here in your very own home on over one and a half acres. Now let me just show you the last of the outdoor spaces here. We've got this really nice swing set. Another shed. All your pool equipment is super conveniently tucked away. You barely hear it running. You've got a Jandy pool heater, saltwater chlorine generator, two carrier AC units, an outside egress window. You've got a gate going to the driveway right there, a side door. Everything's pre-wired for a generator. We've got one more shed over here. I mean, just to build a shed like this would cost you over $20,000. This wasn't a prefabricated shed. There's mulch everywhere, every detail, plantings, fencing. Check this out. All your decorations, your bikes, all the things that you need to tuck away during the winter time, your outdoor furniture, you can tuck all those things away neatly instead of paying somebody every year to wrap all your outdoor furniture. Before we say goodbye, I just want to show you this basement and point out some construction details. As I mentioned before, this is a builder's own home, so he overkilled it on the insulation. We've got two by six frame. We've got rebar in the foundation. And this space is over 2,000 square feet. On one side, you have the carrier air handler and central humidification system for the first floor. On the other side, you have it for the, for the second floor. You've got this Lars tankless hot water heater, and you would have never even needed an additional storage tank here because this thing produces a ridiculous amount of hot water per minute. But just in case, we've got a separate storage tank. All of the work was done with the highest standard of quality. These carrier units are top of the line and everything was done in the last six or seven years, so you don't have to think about anything when it comes to this house. We've got sound insulation, we've waterproofed the foundation from the outside, we've already epoxied this floor so you can really just start using it today as a gym or for storage. But if you do decide to finish this in the future, you could put a bathroom down here, you could put a guest suite down here, you could put a movie theater down here. This is basically a house down here, so you could really do whatever you want. I wanna thank all of you for joining us on this video tour of our beautiful new listing in Baiting Hollow. We're gonna be on the market in just a few days with a ton of photos and drone footage. And I wanna thank you for joining us for the first time on our YouTube vlog. This is gonna be so much fun. Thanks for having me. See you guys soon. And this was great.